Alright guys. You ready to do it again in a few hours? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you uh Welcome. are you gonna just move your stuff from one locker room to the I other? I guess so man. Is this the first time you've had this kind of day? Uh probably since like AAU, but yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you are playing with the blue coats, what's your emphasis of what you what you wanna do? Um Try to just lead the team however um, they need to be led, whether it be scoring or getting my teammates involved or getting stops or, or helping out the big guys on the glass. So just whatever they need. Try who's, to be aggressive too. Yeah. yeah. Who's like, because you do spend time with the, call the big team, whatever you want to call it, who has helped you so that when you do come and play to be effective, that's how your mindset wise, what you should be thinking about? Um, I think everybody from the coaching staff to the, the guys on the blue coats or to even some of the development coaches on the Sixers, um, <clears throat> they just always try to keep my mind in attack mode and tell me to be aggressive when I get out there. Tonight you played both guard spots, both point guard and shooting guard. At an NBA level, do you feel better at one position over the other, or? Um, no, I, I feel like I'm just a basketball player, so you can put me at the one and I can, you know, uh, help um, get guys involved, and you can put me at the two and be more of a scoring role, so it doesn't really matter. What did you see from, at both ends of the floor in the second half, that improved from the first half? Um, I think, well, offensively, <laughs> The, they were kind of showing crowd in the paint, and so you know our emphasis was just kind of getting to the lane and, and kicking for, uh, and letting guys get open shots. And then we started to get defensive rebounds. You know they were getting too many offensive rebounds the first half, and kind of tightened that up, and that ultimately helped us out. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.